Hello, this is Sarah Brash. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a video again about Yale Law School. And what I want to talk about in this video is a very recent scandal. It was like, I think yesterday it happened. A lawsuit was filed. Now, a lawsuit was filed uh, against Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken and against the two Yale DEI admins, bureaucrats, that went after Trent Colbert during the Trap House invite debacle at Yale Law School. So, um, so the, what the lawsuit is, is that they are saying the Yale Law School, these two Yale Law School students of color, I believe one is black and one is Asian American. That's what I believe. I'm not, I'm not for certain, but that's what I heard, read something. So they are filing a lawsuit against Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken, which I love because she was horrifying to me, right? Absolutely horrifying. When I went to her, asked her to help me try to save my life and career, and she told me, uh, basically just mocked me, basically mocked me. Um, mocked me for my mental health disabilities and was just evil and vile and she's an evil lying bigot and fraud and I've done a lot of blog posts and a lot of YouTube videos about what she did to me what the Justice Collaboratory did to me what Yale Law School professor Monica Bell did to me um, Veshla Weaver a, just, a Justice Collaboratory member now at uh, Johns Hopkins formerly at Yale and my then advisor, Tom Tyler, what he did to me, presumably at the behest of Tracy Mears, he abandoned me. And the reason why Tracy Mears would have pressured him to do this is because I publicly denounced Veshla Weaver, a longtime friend and collaborator of Tracy Mears, now at Johns Hopkins, then at Yale, still a member of the Justice Collaboratory. She worked with Vox.com and and Chris LeBron, also at Johns Hopkins, formerly at Yale. And what they did is they were trying to drag me to suicide, destroy my life, destroy my lifelong human and civil rights, academic and legal careers, um, you know, get me killed basically, to use me as a proxy to get revenge against Yale for Chris LeBron having been denied tenure at Yale. What's really horrifying about this is that Chris LeBron knew me well and I worked with him on two explicitly anti-racism conferences at Yale with my advisor in the Yale philosophy department, Jason Stanley. And I didn't know Veshla Weaver as well, but she still knew me, knew of me, knew me as an innocent Yale grad student and civil rights attorney absolutely knew she was lying about me, absolutely knew she was very likely driving a completely innocent person, a civil rights attorney, to suicide. And they did this in Vox.com with the help of Vox.com to get revenge against Yale, to use me as a proxy to get revenge against Yale because Chris LeBron had been denied tenure at Yale. So what happened was I publicly denounced both of them. They knew me. They knew they were lying about me. The entirety of their body of scholarship, the two of them, should be considered completely just bogus and a living while black race hoax and completely discredited. So what happened after I publicly denounced the two of them is that my um, then uh, Yale uh, advisor at Yale Law School, Tom Tyler, father of procedural justice, co-director of the Justice Collaboratory at Yale Law School with Tracy Mears, also co-director of the Justice Collaboratory at Yale Law School. They were both, I'm just gonna adjust here for a second. They were both members of Barack Obama's 21st Century Policing Task Force. Um, so he was my advisor, Tom Tyler, 
and he absolutely loved me, loved my PhD dissertation, loved the project I was working on with him. Of course, I worked on implicit bias and police brutality at the Justice Collaboratory at Yale Law School, but my specific empirical work that I was working on a study, a design of a study for, with Tom Tyler, for Tom Tyler, was about the nature of authority, the nature of legitimacy, and the nature of the relationship between the two. And so he was thrilled with that project. That was my project that I was working on with Tom Tyler at the Justice Collaboratory at Yale Law School as part of my Yale PhD dissertation, which I still consider to be my Saving the World project. So then, so Tom Tyler abandoned me. Tom Tyler abandoned me, presumably at the behest of Tracy Mears. Tracy Mears, as I mentioned, longtime friend and collaborator of Veshla Weavers. And uh, Veshla Weaver is still to this day a member of the Justice Collaboratory. So additionally, Monica Bell, Yale Law School professor, knew me at the Justice Collaboratory. I only worked with her very briefly. I only worked with Tracy Mears very briefly, but that's beside the point. They both knew me. They knew me as an innocent Yale grad student and civil rights attorney. So Monica Bell, also to protect the Justice Collaboratory, also to protect Vashla Weaver, she defamed me, grossly defamed me, named me, um, and unequivocally just, you know, stated, asserted that I am a racist, that I was trying to lynch black students on Yale's campus, um, that I was, you know, basically using uh, the Yale campus police as my personal slave patrol um, to police what I consider to be my white space at Yale's campus to keep black people out of my white space at Yale's campus. So this is this is what she explicitly said in her ridiculously stupid, bigoted, lying NYU Law Review article called Anti-Segregation Policing. She did this to drive me to suicide and uh, to destroy my life, to destroy my lifelong human and civil rights, academic and legal careers, to silence me, to unperson me, to make sure that I ended up dead, to protect first and foremost Special Weaver and also the Justice Collaboratory and also more peripherally, uh, Tracy Mears and Tom Tyler and Johns Hopkins professor Chris LeBron, who had also been at Yale and who knew me as an innocent, you know, anti-racism Yale grad student. So um, after all of this went down, I went to Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken, and I basically begged her please help me, please save me. I also went to, I believe it's the president, or is it the Yale, or is, it, is it the, yeah, it's the president of um, Johns Hopkins. I believe his last name is Daniels. I went to him as well to complain about the gross abuse of me by Veshla Weaver and Chris LeBron was ignored. I went to Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken to complain about the gross uh, abuse of me by Monica Bell, you know, in particular to protect Veshla Weaver and the Justice Collaboratory, uh, but also Tom Tyler and Tracy Mears. And um, because truly what Monica Bell did, defaming me as she did in the NYU Law Review article to drive me to suicide to protect Veshla Weaver first and foremost, she knew me. It is. It was grossly unethical for Monica Bell, Yale Law School professor and justice collaboratory member, Monica Bell, to name me and defame me in an NYU art, uh, law review article without, which yes, it is part of the get Sarah Brosh killed moral outrage industry that is so prevalent in U.S. law schools right now. There's a whole bunch 
of articles where I, you know, figure prominently as the central villain of the race baiting dystopian fantasies, which is a new genre of U.S. law school journal article. So, uh, so, and yes, yeah, so Monica Bell wrote this ridiculous article, anti-segregation policing in NYU Law Review, which she was using to drive me to suicide. It was so grossly unethical of her to write this article and name me in the article and defame me in the article and try to drive me to suicide in the article without explicitly stating that she knew me and had worked with me. She knew me and had worked with me at the Justice Collaboratory at Yale Law School. So when I went to Heather Gerken, Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken, and I explained all of this to her, and I begged her to help me save my life and career. She mocked me, and she mocked me for my mental health disabilities, and she was incredibly dismissive of me. So that's what happened to me. And so now, because of what is ha what happened with this new lawsuit that was filed against Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken and then the two Yale DEI admins. One, I believe, has the last name Cosgrove. The other one, I believe, has the last name Eldick. These are the two Yale Law School DEI and Belonging. Can't forget about Belonging. Um, Yale's new, you know, Maoist, vast Maoist bureaucracy for snitching on, you know, professors and students for racial harassment. Uh, that is named after me, named after a grotesque lie told about me by Lalata Siambola and Jean-Louis Renison during the, what should have been perfectly obvious, living or not being well black, hate crime hoax at Yale. So, um, so what happened with this lawsuit then, it's very interesting, and now everyone knows I've always been telling the truth. So these two Yale Law School students of color, they are suing the two Yale Law School DEI admins plus Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken. Makes me so happy, warms the cockles of my heart. Um, and they're suing them because the Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken and the two Yale DEI admins tried to destroy the careers, the future career prospects, the current career prospects um, of these two Yale Law School students of color because these two Yale Law School students of color refused to help Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken and these two Yale Law School DEI admins refused to help them destroy Yale Law School professor Amy Chua. That's a whole other debacle which I've done blog posts and YouTube videos about. But they basically refused to, the two Yale Law School uh, students of color refused to lie about Amy Chua, refused to um, sign false statements about Amy Chua, and so now they're suing uh, Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken and the two Yale DEI admins because the three of them you know, basically retaliated against these two Yale Law School students of color, tried to destroy them because they refused to help, in particular, Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken destroy Yale Law School Professor Amy Chua. Okay, I don't want this video to get too, too long. I'm gonna make more videos about this, but I'm gonna call this video, uh, Yale Law School Goes Up in woke flames, which they are. But the main point is that now everyone, everyone knows that I have always been telling the truth about everything that was done to me. And I'm not a dangerous psycho and I'm not delusional. When I tell you that this is what Yale and Yale Law School and Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken and Mo Yale Law School Professor Monica Bell and the Justice Collaboratory and, and Tom Tyler and Tracy Mears and Veshla Weaver and Chris LeBron, this is what they did to me. And I am not crazy 
for you know telling you that I'm just telling the simple truth of the matter the simple facts of the matter this is what was done to me and now everyone knows I'm telling the truth everyone knows I'm telling the truth because this is what the Yale Law School administration is trying also to do to these two you know Yale Law School students of color basically destroy them because they are getting in the way of the woke agenda, the woke tyrannical agenda of the Yale Law School administration. And they're getting in the way of the reputation of the Yale Law School. So they're just trying to destroy, you know, and they're basically just not doing what they want them to do. They're not helping them destroy Yale Law School professor Amy Chua. Okay, I will have all of my fundraising links below, the applicable blog post below. Um, you know, I just, I love all of you so much. Thank you so much and have a great night and I will talk to you soon.